Imagine a future where robots not only work with us but replace us. Welcome to the age of Japan's ultra-beautiful, mind-blowing robots. From lifelike androids to animatronics that blur the line between art and life, these creations redefine innovation. Get ready to meet the machines that aren't just tools. They're revolutionizing how we live, work, and connect. Let's dive in. RZR Dolls has unveiled its technologically innovative creation, RZR21, R Mirang, an animatronic doll with an impressive height of 155 centimeters. This invention brings a new era in the world of robotics where dolls can be created with sophisticated robotics as well as visually appealing features. Interactivity is one of the key elements in modern technology. The RZR21R Mirang aims to involve the users through the doll's animatronic abilities to create a more interactive environment. Building a doll that appears realistic and can create engaging interactions is the attention to detail that comes from RZR doll's craftsmanship. The RZR21 R Mirang integrates technology that makes touch and command recognition possible, making it useful for and well-received in a variety of contexts, such as entertainment, education, etc. Such dolls as RZR21, R Mirang make for great companions and inspire creativity while serving as educational tools, highlighting the future potential of robotics. Fukata Amy by Max Milk Studio is a remarkable creation meticulously crafted to redefine the concept of companionship in the modern age. Standing at an ideal height of 160 centimeters, this lifelike doll is designed to seamlessly integrate into various interactions, offering a sense of realism that is both captivating and comforting. Its design showcases an exceptional attention to detail, with intricate features that replicate human expressions and movements to an astonishing degree. The advanced robotics embedded within Fukata Aimi allow it to respond intuitively to touch and voice commands, creating a personalized and interactive experience for users. Its aesthetic appeal lies in its soft pastel tones and a serene, gentle demeanor that evokes warmth and a sense of connection. Every motion of this robotic doll is fluid and natural, enhancing its lifelike presence and making it a compelling companion in any environment. The emotional depth captured in promotional content highlights its potential to provide solace and companionship, particularly for individuals who may feel isolated in an increasingly digitized world. The Japanese robot designer, Hiroshi Ishiguro, has made landmark achievements in robotics like Otneroid. Kodomoroid serves a similar purpose. It is the world's first robot for news reading, complete with a realistic appearance and an extensive vocabulary alongside the capability of lip-syncing and speaking through a Siri-like voice assistant. Like Otaneroid, Kodomoroid has a face made from silicone casts that replicate the texture and movement of human skin. Furthermore, it can pronounce and mimic various languages and voices while delivering news. However, like Autoneroid, it has no facial expressions, emotional recognition, or problem-solving abilities. This showcases a major technological challenge that needs to be solved to achieve emotional or cognitive intelligence within robots. Despite his claim, we must not overlook Kodomoroid's potential as a medium for androids to communicate with the public. Robocup's RZR Yumi is a unique robotic system that has been tailored to improve human-robot collaborations in education and research fields. The robot combines advanced sensors and actuators to accomplish a full range of tasks in the most efficient way with a sleek and futuristic design. RZR Yumi robots have the ability to traverse their environments making them exceedingly valuable for programming and robotics education as well as engaging students through active learning. The robot's dual arm design allows it to perform advanced object manipulations, which includes intricate movements that replicate the human hand. This function will prove to be critical, as robots are increasingly being required to work with human operators in spicy fields such as automation, healthcare, and manufacturing. Because RZR Yumi has artificial intelligence, enables the robotic platform to obtain new information from the environment and enhance its performance through interactions over time. At CES 2025, IntBot revealed Nilo, an exceptional humanoid robot which facilitates stride forward in social robotics. For many users, the personal interaction is at the forefront of Nilo, who uses advanced AI with informal and casual ways of speaking, familiarizing users to the robot with designed ease. The design team worked tirelessly on setting Nilo's character so that emotions can anchor conversations and flow seamlessly. Cosmos Technology by NVIDIA powers Nilo's appealing physique 
equips it with durable real-time processing and interaction capabilities. Because of this, Nilo is able to discern emotional cues and react in a way that encourages interpersonal communication between people and the robot. Another important aspect about Nilo is its versatility means it can be used in different contexts, such as homes, offices, or schools. This robot has a multitude of functions and can be a companion, personal assistant, or educational support due to the flexibility of its internal behavior. Alex, the world's first humanoid robot capable of social interaction, was created by Boardwalk Robotics and introduced in August 2024. Alex is primarily designed for the manufacturing, logistics, and maintenance sectors. Contrary to most humanoids, Alex has a static base instead of legs. This is due to the high level of manipulation that Alex is supposed to perform. All of these factors check the affordability, safety, and practicality of the system, even within the tough confines of inelegant industrial environments. Accompanied with the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition IHMC, dynamic manipulation technologies, the system is in the forefront of science and engineering. Due to the generic programmability, Alex can be employed in industries like food production, air transport, and heavy engineering for performing repetitive processes requiring high accuracy. A young Japanese researcher and his team created Otonaroid, a bilingual android that is also a newscaster and a guide at the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Japan. It is one of the android presentations offered in the Android What is Human exhibition in the museum, whose purpose is to enable the crowd to interact with a lifelike android model, which is the first of its kind. The strategy in making it is to sculpt the human face into plaster casts and then use advanced elastic silicon that is durable, skin-like, and capable of mimicking muscle action. So far, it is managed by an operator that stays in relative proximity to the machine. The operator encourages and enables hand and arm motion on the android that is intended to stimulate the arm's range of movement parallel to the muscle movements and mechanically turning the head and moving the eyes are enabled for human-robot interaction. Despite these motions being primarily cosmetic, they contribute to the overall realism of the android character. 3D Printed Robotic Head YouTuber Will Cogley recently showcased his innovative designs for amazing animatronics with his latest release of a 3D printed robotic head. With this project, Cogley has set out to cover the divide between easy access to humanoid robots and the current highly advanced options. He starts with a deep, deep dive into the mouth mechanism with M servos controlling the jaw, as well as other additional servos which control lip movement during speech for making a variety of facial expressions. For the design phase, the CAD programs on shape and blender are quite useful because he manufactures a pleasant design that serves a purpose. Cogley uses high-quality components wherever possible such as shoulder bolts into pivoting points because they reduce friction, which improves the usable life of the moving components. While discussing various aspects of his work, he illustrates the use of his custom PCBs and microcontrollers to control the movements of the robot. The microchipped animatronic head aims to include realistic teeth and a tongue. However, there were issues that had to be fixed afterward. Open source content encourages community programmers to collaborate with crafters, and Cogley freely allows people to use his STL files and programming intricacies. Showa Hanako 2 Tokyo's Showa University, in conjunction with Tumsuk, has developed Showa Hanako 2, the latest in the development of advanced robotic dental training simulators. It is a humanoid robot that moves and responds like a human, and now it has characteristics of a lifelike mannequin for dental education. With the incorporation of Showa Hanako 2, trainee dental students need not rely solely on the gags, shudders, coughs, sneezes, and fake gags to capture the responses and behaviors enlisted by patients during circumstances that warrant such actions. Rather, there are now sophisticated methods available to get those vital non-verbal cues. One of its most advanced features is designed in such a way to mimic the sensations of oral tissue to provide feedback during the training sessions these students undertake. The Android is also programmed to understand speech commands, enabling students to communicate more freely in the clinic and improve the realism of the whole environment. Animatronic Grandmother La Machine has brought forth an astonishing animatronic grandmother who is over three people tall and sits above her audience. Although this invention was unveiled in a recent video, people are awed by the combination of robotics and artistry showcased in the animatronic grandma, as it has both charm and surprise. Every detail of her intricately designed face down to her fanciful clothing is crafted to appeal to an audience's heart and recollections. What differentiates this animatronic is that it 
unlike other exhibits, can actually capture the essence of the viewers they encounter. With her hands, gigantic grandmother can gently wave and shrug her shoulders demonstratively, making her audience feel as if they are interacting with an enchantment rather than an object on display. For this reason, La Machine has created a superb example on how in a world where emotion and resonance is lacking, technology is able to catalyze it. These designs add even more value to the storytelling aspect in their creations. Like other creations showcased by the company, animatronic grandma is able to resonate with her viewers on a deeper level. Three D printed animatronics. American YouTuber Will Cogley demonstrated the first fully three D printed animatronic skull with a silicone skin covering. In his most recent video, Cogley explains how he was able to achieve the three D printed head using OnShape CAD software to design the model in Blender and even three D print parts of the structure so that everything can snap together. The head has fourteen servos inside of it that power these features: eyebrow raises, lip syncing tongue articulation, and more. These movements along with the facial structure give the skull a hyper-realistic appearance. While there were challenges for Cogley, such as skin waste and curing issues, he was still able to achieve a striking finish. Another prize of this project is the open source concept. All of the parameters of the skeleton are provided to the world along with the premium custom eyeballs. This new way of developing helps show how AI technology can be used for advanced robotics, making it easier for makers and researchers to create imaginative concepts for animatronics. Mechanical Elephant The Grand Elephant is a stunning mechanical masterpiece part of an artistic project called Les Machines de Lille, located in Nantes, France. Weighing an astonishing 48 tons and towering at 12 meters, this mechanical elephant attracts viewers with its movement around Ile de Nantes. Catering to about 50 passengers, the Grand Elephant enables them to combine art, engineering, and experiential learning in a fitting 45-minute tour of the area. The elephant's design gives the illusion of life due to the hydraulic and pneumatic systems underneath which makes the Grand Elephant sound as if it's walking on wheels. Construction of the Grand Elephant began in 2004 and was completed in 2007. This creative centerpiece is modeled after a sculpture known as the Sultan's Elephant. Nowadays, it serves as a true testament to artistic innovation in the heart of Nantes. What makes this elephant stand out from others are the materials used to make it, wood and steel. Thanks for watching. Your time and support mean the world to us. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up with our journey. See you in the next one.